welcome back everyone to Uncle Karius. I know it's been a while. It's not like I haven't been gone because I've been streaming like almost every day. But we're back in Uncle Karius. If you don't want to have long gaps between episodes, go watch me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Gamers101. I stream like a lot. I know everyone has school now, so I gotta like choose certain times on the stream. But uh, I'll do my best. But yeah. We are back in action. I don't know if I got this weapon during a stream or not. But look, I have a weapon. It's not bad of a weapon. It's not good. It's not bad. It's like in the middle. It's a giant fish, and the reason why it's giant is because I have a reforge that makes it giant. So, uh. Hooray for that. I don't know why I'm yawning. Okay, um. Let's see here. We're gonna fight some bosses, but first, I think we're gonna make a new battle rod. Let's look up. Can I make the triad rod slash armor? Oh, we have the triad armor. Uh, so we do need the hollowed one. Not too bad. We, we could eventually make it. Probably after we make the hollowed battle rod. Because that's what we're about to make. Boom, bada, bing. 333 fishing damage. Pretty good. We're gonna use it, obviously. Uh, it is super effective against bosses. That's good. It's really good because what are we gonna do today? We're gonna fight bosses today. So um probably should head to hell. Set up a little arena down here. And we're gonna take on the uh we're gonna use the pain collar to take on Inferno. I'm very hyped to fight Inferno, and that's a lie. I'm not hyped. I'm assuming No, we already have the tryout armor. I don't remember if I made this during a video or during a stream. That's some pretty good armor though. It's ten percent mana siphoning when hooked. Uh, that maybe not be the best, but it's still pretty good. Okay, I go yachting again. I just woke up uh, really recently, and I got work in like five hours. So hopefully I can get this episode out the same day. Less than five hours, like four hours. But uh, let's do it. We about to clap, and I ain't talking about clapping like an audience claps i'm talking about clapping as in cheeks your booty cheeks are about to get clapped not you not you guys specifically like watching the video but uh infernons these are about to get clapped full clap oh shit drop it drop it drop it yeah that was a pretty pretty decent reaction time right there but that bomb blew up way quicker than I thought it was gonna blow up. Yo, why everyone wanna bother me now? It was so calm a second ago. And I get attacked by literally like hundreds. Just sporadically, everyone wants to come attack me. Alright. Fucking shield bashing. How the hell did I take damage shield bashing? They need to work on that. I feel like, I, I feel like there's supposed to be iframes there, but I always take damage when I shield. I remember not always. But more than I don't take damage, I do take damage shield bashing. Very upsetting. I'm trying to bash someone with a shield. Do you think I'd get hit? No. I wouldn't get hit. Me personally? I wouldn't get hit. Terraria person, personally? They probably get hit. Because they don't got that finesse like Game Raiders 101 does. Alright. So I'm probably just going to wait until I have full health. And then we'll fight. Can that regen any slower? <laughs> Did I have a debuff on me or something? Did you see how slow that was regening? Bro, this is way too slow. It's still really slow. But, uh... Let's, let's wait. We're just gonna wait it out. Plan is to fight Infernon and Ice Cube. What's the name? Crowdgen. It will be good. Maybe get an accessory if we can. I don't know if we can fit an accessory in here. I also made this. I think, I don't know. I think there was a live stream I did. I don't remember though. <laughs> but I made this. It's really good. Saf told me to make it, so I made it. Get this lava slime out of here. And try and, right, that's why I don't have torches. Try and place lava, see what happens. Okay, let's do it. We are ready. So I hear, I'm not sure just bounce on him. I hear that we get really OP very soon. Oh my god. <laughs> How much damage you're doing to 
Oh my god. And now we just gotta fight this skull. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh my god. What, was that even a boss we just fought? Or was that a bitch we just fought? Boss or bitch? You guys tell me. I can't kill those enemies. I wanted to kill them to get their loot, but I can't. They're just like underneath. Jeez, I feel bad for that boss, man. I really need to finish that house. I'll keep it. I don't care. I usually just keep everything. Except for, I don't know how I'll keep these. Like, eh, kind of useful. Infernal Band. Uh, everything else. We can oh, wow. Yeah, that was really sh easy. I don't know what the bonus is. It just says really good on bosses. It's fishing. It just uh, that's all it says. Really good on bosses. Super affecting his bosses. Does it tell me why? It launches three bobbers at once. But we have an Omni Lure. So it's not like it matters. But um, moving on here. We got Dark Nut. We're gonna head to spawn real quick. Oops. We're gonna head to spawn real quick. Because I wanna sell the sword. I have no use for it. And then uh, we'll set up. Let me off camera. I'm gonna set up an arena to fight Cryogen. So I'll be right back. Here we are. Let's hope we can do this. What is this? Powered bait? <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know. Heart reach. Okay, we should be fine. Let's take that off. Hold up. Deep breath. We are ready to fight Cryogen. Hopefully we don't die. Let's hope. Big hopes to not die. I don't know how this is going to work. Go. Boom. That's a, that's a hit. That's a hit marker. We got a hit marker. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That's a good quote, if you guys know what that quote's from. Plus 10 respect points. Doesn't help, there's a lot of other enemies just kind of running around here. Alright, so... This, I guess this is how this is working. When his shield kind of goes back up, we just kind of deal with it. Slowly, very slowly. I think I should whip out the fish. Because we gotta clear some room in here too, bro. Watch out, before he starts derping out. Oh, he teleports. When you start doing that, you ain't hurting me, bro. You going bye bye? I think there's a point where we're gonna become extremely overpowered, and I think our only problem with Uncle Carius towards the end, or towards the later part of the playthrough, is gonna be our movement speed. I'm letting you guys know that. That's my that's my prediction. I'm not letting you guys know, but that's my assumptions and prediction for the later end of this playthrough. Because so I was told by secret insiders that you do become very strong later on use it i bet he won't spawn fucking bet yeah i knew it. oh <laughs> talk shit too soon he came out he's all up what'd you say i don't think we fought this boss on uh in the next episode so hit him so here we go boom crowd in we're doing like a thousand a hit which is insane it's extremely why is there another one why are you here not even a blizzard. I didn't think more would spawn. What the heck? A little, little boss rush here. No, I'm naming this episode Fire and Ice. Fish and Fire and Ice. I don't know. I'll come up with something creative. That or I'll just like exclamation point cryogen. I don't know. But uh, that's really it on the boss side of this episode. So you can see these episodes kind of have a little layout now. I'm letting you guys know right now. I was gonna do. I, I felt like I wasn't gonna have time to record this episode today, but I was actually able to. But I'm feeling like. I feel like Kanye, bro. <laughs> no, I feel like. Uh, I I was gonna originally post a certain episode. Oh fuck! I'm actually maxed on items. I was gonna post not an episode, but a little video where I was gonna be like, "Hey, vote for the next." Uh, character and it was gonna be either Book or Grognak. I think it's gonna, I think how we're gonna do the rest of the playthroughs is gonna be Book. It's gonna be either Book or Grognak, whoever one of those guys are. One of them next. And then the healer. And then we'll finish it off with whoever didn't get voted to go next. So I think that's the plan. But I have very, very big plans for Book and Grognak. Whoever, whoever one gets, well, both of them. Are gonna have the same idea but whatever one gets voted first is obviously gonna have the the better of the idea but uh, I'm just telling you guys right now 
it's gonna be crazy we're gonna be doing a complete overhaul of the mod pack we're gonna still obviously have our favorite mods in here but the plan right now i should just give you guys the title it's gonna be called it's like a it's like a kind of like subtitle it's not gonna be like the official title of any series or anything but the plan is to name it unknown worlds and we may or may not try and fill the world up with a bunch of mods that add biome generation generation in general but that's all i'm saying I'm not saying anything else i will let you the viewers contemplate and think about what's to come when that series does drop so uh in, enjoy thinking about it i don't think i'm gonna use the soul cryogen as good as it is we got our fish wings <laughs> now, come on man my fish wings are way better yeah, let me look up on the Battle Rods wiki if there's anything to build. Alright, I found an accessory. It's called the Hook Set. Hopefully we can make it. It requires pretty much every hook. No problem. We just need the uh, Heavenly Hook, Sealed Hook, and the Super Barbed Hook, which we do have. Okay. Heavenly Hook, Sealed Hook. How do we make the Heavenly Hook? We just need a sun plate. Do I have... Can I make sun plate? Currently. Oh. Uh, sky mill. Do I have a sky mill in here? Oh, we do. Okay. This should make this way easier. Place this in here. Type in sun plate. And we should be good. I don't know how much sun plate it was. Just craft like a hundred. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Alright. That's a classic stream sneeze, if you guys ever heard it. That's just classic sneeze in general. But who remembers when that sneeze was my follower? Nice good times. Alright, let's see here. Heavenly hook. My nose. Ugh. Increase fishing damage based on player altitude. That's actually pretty interesting. Um, I don't have space in here, man. I really need to add some space. Let's take some stuff out currently. Just for now. Um, and let's also put this in here, too. Okay, so... Next up was the sealed hook. So, boom. Nice and easy. Seals bobbers stuck enemies damage by 20%. Seals bobbers stuck enemies damage by 20%. So, enemies that are stuck cannot do damage. Higher than... 20... I don't know. <laughs> Is it a 20% damage debuff to them? Like, they can't hit me for... Instead of doing 100, they do 80. I don't know. But here it is. Hook set. We'll just craft it. And then read it. Uh, increase the fishing damage based on player altitude. Increase the fishing damage if enemy is underwater. Yeah, but you guys can read it. It's a good accessory. It's really good. So, Oh, God. I just opened up something. I don't know if you guys can see it. Ooh, somebody choking on something. They about to choke. They're really about to choke. Get out of here. You ready? Don't get too close. Got him. Got me a live one. Got me a live one. Woo. Thanks for the donation. That's like my donator sound on Twitch. All right. That's going to end this episode off here, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. We did get some decent progress done. We're moving on to, like, kind of the midsection of hard mode. I'd consider after you beat the mech bosses, kind of reaching the midsection of hard mode. God damn. RIP that slime. He jumped down the hole. But yeah. I'll see y'all next time.